So, Latasha, let's get tactical, shall we? I really want to, you know, get precision with you. Can we talk about some voters, some 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 points of voter suppression that you've seen on the ground on your bus tour, and may and maybe points that you can share with people that are going out to vote on what they need to look out for? I sure can. So, you know, there's a spectrum of voter suppression. I think there's, you know, I can talk about voter suppression all day because it comes in so many different ways. I'll just say some some key ways. I think one is really centered around um, when we're talking about voter registration. Many states, voter registration ends next week. Right. Um, some states have a logger of voter registration. In Michigan, which I think is extremely progressive, they can actually register and vote on the same day. Okay. So you have voter registration all the way through, and I think we have to utilize that. But oftentimes what we see is that in many places, people have registered to vote. They may or may not have voted in the last, last two elections, right. or their name just was taken off. There was a list, I'm gonna keep saying it because it's true. And I'm not saying this in the context of partisan, I'm saying it because it's true. There was a list of 3.2 million black voters that were targeted as deterrents that literally all kinds of things have happened to them. We know that in Georgia alone, there are 200,000 voters that were dropped off of voting rolls um, right. That should not should never have been dropped off. The, right. the crazy thing is many of them may not even know that they're dropped off. So right. the first thing around voter suppression and giving them how they can deal with that is one, we need everybody not to take for granted that you're registered. Even if you know you voted last time, it is time now to check your registration. Right. You can go to our website, blackvotersmatterfund.org forward slash vote. You can check whether you're registered. If you're not registered, you got a link to register to vote right then. You can also find information around your district and where you vote at. So please, the first thing we need everybody to do is to go check your voter registration. There has been a concerted effort to target black voters and drop them off the list. So we need everybody, regardless of whether how frequently you vote, to right. check your voter registration. The right. second thing that we've seen as well is that we've seen, uh, uh, I think that is um, on election day, and mm -hmm. we saw this in Georgia on election day, there were some polling sites that if you go on the white side of town, people were voted in a matter of minutes, right? If you went on the black side of town, people were in line like even myself for three hours, right? right? And so those long lines could be a deterrence for that. So what we're asking people to do, because do not wait to election day to vote unless you just absolutely have to because something comes up. By election day, we should be sitting down with our legs crossed here. We did everything we could, right? And waiting on the results. We need, if any time, we need people to create a plan. Right. <clears throat> Put together a plan of when you're going to vote, vote as early and soon as possible. Right. So if our problems, we've got time to work those problems out. Right. And so it's really important that people vote early, like find out, you, once again, you can go to our website and find out the voting dates, blackvotersmatterfund.org um, forward slash vote, and you can find out, but we need everybody to vote early. I think that's the way yeah. to really be able to minimize um, yeah. suppression. Another way, too, I think that is really important is that what one of the things that we see in voter suppression that folks don't talk about a lot um, is I think one of the biggest tactics to voter suppression is actually based on fear and confusion. Right. Right. That get fear and confusion. And so what we know is that President Trump says that he is going to dispatch law enforcement, whether he's lying or true about it or not. But and he's already said from the Proud Boys um, of people to go out on, on the polls to really be able to intimidate folks. That what we've got is we've got to have more poll workers and poll watchers and people who are willing to volunteer. But we also that's another reason why we are encouraging people to vote early. Right. right to make sure you're voting early. There are two things you can do there. One, like I said, check your status. But secondly, if you vote and you have any, and the fourth is having problems that when you're trying to cast your vote, right. something rejected, you can call 1-866-OUR-VOTE. 1-866-OUR-VOTE if you have any problems around casting your vote. Black Voters Matter is actually building out a voter advocacy program for the next couple of weeks in the election. And so if you are interested in being a voting advocate, having that information, you can also reach out to us. And right. that literally, and we will follow back up with you as well to be able to provide videotapes and other information that will be circulating. So I tell people to check our social media because all of that information we're putting on our Facebook page. Right. So folks can really check and have the information that they need.
question, Natasha. Um, are you looking for volunteers? How can people, you know, help you? Uh, obviously, this bus tour is something that you're doing, but I know a lot of people that want to get involved be above and beyond what you just mentioned, but they don't necessarily need, you know, know how above and beyond in their own communities. So, is it phone banking? Is it making sure that people are registered? One thing that I've been, you know, really trying to get friends to do is. I always say, <clears throat> focus on your circle, focus on your 10. That's how we mobilize the masses. Focus on your 10 and your crew and make sure that they are registered, that they are ready, that they're if they're voting by mail, they vote early. If they're voting in person, they vote early. Try, just try to do whatever you can to, to avoid, you know, same day voting on election day, if you can. Then have ten, those 10 people mobilize 10 people and those 10 people mobilize 10 people. So creating a checklist for your crew, your your circle, how big or small it is, and, and, and really making sure that you keep tabs on how they're doing, because that's what makes the change in these communities. It's really Absolutely. looking out for each other. I mean, that's that's absolutely you're absolutely right. That's exactly what we're saying. You know, take 10 to win. If we want to win, take 10. Right. And what that means is be responsible. If everybody there's four things I think folks could do. One is take your 10, identify 10 people um, that around a lot of times in our families, sometimes even in our household. Right. You know, people are not voting and we haven't checked in with them. Um, family members, neighbors be responsible for 10 votes just imagine if 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 everybody that we talk to or hear my voice is responsible for 10 votes i can guarantee you we're gonna win with a landslide right. i am clear you know and what, what the results will be reflective what i know is not necessarily and i'm not trying to push people to vote for this particular candidate or not well i don't want them to vote for trump so i'm just gonna go and put that out there but right. uh, aside from that my point is it's more around with when we vote then at least we know that the choice that we want will be in office whatever that choice may be but i'm sharing that i think that one the first thing is that i want everybody to see themselves as deputized we need all hands on deck this ain't just a year that you can just say i'm gonna go vote no you need to talk to at least 10 people we need 10 to win so think like that i need 10 people to win so take your 10 identify those 10 people and make sure that they are registered make sure they do the three things i asked y'all do check right. your status make sure they're registered make sure they vote early check your status make sure they're registered make sure they vote early then right. in addition to that if you want to vote volunteer there are local organizations in your communities that i, that I would say to reach out to that you can buy volunteer with or you can volunteer and work with us some of the things that we're doing is we're doing texting parties where people can do, be a part of our text messaging campaign we're doing phone banking in all of our various states and one of the cool things that we're doing is we're doing these cool caravans in cleveland yesterday we had caravans in nine different neighborhoods local organizations of uh, churches community groups even right. one of them was a uh a car washing auto detailing place that we actually wound up having a rally that are having social distance that we are you it's real simple we can tell you how to do it particularly if you're one of our states we've got the coolest we've got the coolest blackest bus in america but we got 20 baby buses all around the 11 states that we're working in that can come to those communities if it's within our area um and really help lead the caravan and the caravan you only need five to seven cars riding through neighborhoods you would be amazed we went into communities yesterday and people were in the middle of the street waiting on us it was so much excitement and so that's another thing the third thing the the, the fourth and the last thing is i do think that social media matters and so right. really being able to we have a lot of content we're putting out daily from our bus tours to the work that people are doing. Sometimes folks need to see people fighting. When you see other right. people doing work, it's something about that, that inspires you. So I wanna encourage people to go to our social media. Um, black, if you wanna see some black folks doing some work, come see us. Go to Black Voters MTR on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. We are gonna show you some black folks that are doing some work, probably some work directly in your community that you can right. share, so we can spread the word that you know we're hearing all this other stuff on TV. But there's a lot of good work happening on the ground, so please be able to share, tag us at Black Voters MTR, and we're hope we're literally posting hundreds of videos and pictures and events happening in our states on our Facebook page and our social media platforms. Latasha Brown, you are amazing. I thank you so much for taking some time and saving some space for us on your on, on your caravan and your tours. I hope you make your way down all the way down south to Miami. I, I can't wait to join the caravan. 
<laughs> where I am. We are coming to Florida. We are coming to Florida. We may come to Miami. Miami right. is so far, but we are doing some work with a partner in Miami. We will reach out to you. I just want to shout out to the Cafe Mocha family. I love y'all. Like, I don't even want to have my day without me having a little Cafe Mocha. So Absolutely. to start my day. So thank you all so much. Thank you for the space. This is our year. I just want people to know that this isn't about the Democrats. This is about Republicans. This ain't about Trump. This ain't about Biden. This is about us, y'all. That fundamentally, we are in this moment that we're talking about from the uh, uh, police brutality to the increased violence happening in our community. We just can't take it anymore. Right. That fundamentally, some people got to be held accountable and we cannot leave any power on the table. So we got power. If nobody else understands that, we should understand that, that we got power. And when we work together, we win. That's right. Thank you so much. Stay safe and see you soon. Thank you.